Welcome everyone, this is Kathy Bartilli from the IntimacyDojo.com here with Reed Mahako from ReadAboutSex.com and today we're talking about romance. Yes. Do you have a couple quick tips you yes, can give? Yes, I do. I teach a workshop on this. Yes. Um, I think it's very interesting when you start talking about romance. Um, so my quick tips. Stop thinking about romance like a men are from Mars, women are from Venus mm -hmm. thing um, because it Romance is easier if you don't think about it as a gender issue. Right. Um, mostly because when you start thinking about things in terms of gender, it can really easily trigger people that you're pissed off at. Like, not, not trigger, well, it can trigger them too, but trigger you about, oh, this, you know, my four ex-boyfriends or my, you know, ex-girlfriends, mm -hmm. they all did, you know, fill in the blank. And you start comparing and contrasting. Yeah, and then you're just angry. Yeah. Um, so I like to think of romance from a perspective of a little, something a little bit kookier. Okay. Go figure, Great. right? Great. I come up yeah. with kooky. Um, think about romance like you're either a dog or a cat. Now, there's probably otters and penguins and things like that, but don't go there yet. Any ostriches? Yeah, that too. Um, so the idea of, think of romance from a perspective of you're oriented like I'm a cat when it comes to romance. Or I'm a dog. And, and the distinction is... Because it has nothing to do with men or women. Because mm -hmm. some men are like this, some women are, are like this too. A cat, what is romantic to a cat, is anything that proves I was thinking about you before you walked into the room. That's all of a sudden that kind of forethought mm -hmm. is romantic. Oh, you were thinking about me. Can you me. give us a couple of examples? I will admit. Okay. okay. Um, and anything like a dog orientation is, you know, dogs find it romantic Anything that affirms them or approves them, mm -hmm. like you're a good dog, that's like, oh, I'm a good dog. Now, where the, the, the wires get crossed is dogs, for those of you who are dog owners, they're not thinking about you until they hear the keys in the door. And then they're so happy you're home. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. Best thing ever. <laughs> that's not very romantic to a cat. Yeah. The cat is like, why weren't you thinking of me? <laughs> Before you heard the keys in the door. And the dog's like, what do you mean? You're here right now. Oh, my God, oh, my God, oh, my God. Best thing ever. <laughs> the, exa the example um, in, in, a, in a strict dating sense is, um, and we'll gender it for the example, right? Uh, you and I you know, have a date night. Okay. Um, and then it's, it's date night, and, and, and we get together. And I'm like, so where do you want to go for dinner? Mm -hmm. And you're like... <laughs> you didn't even take the time to make a reservation. Yeah. Now, as a dog, the reason I didn't take the time to make a reservation is I don't know what you want to eat tonight yeah. when we booked this, you know, however many days ago. Mm -hmm. So I'm being thoughtful in that I'm leaving the decision for the time of so that I can check in and make sure that you get exactly what you want. So it sounds like communication could really help that. If you know... If I know that you didn't choose a restaurant because you're hoping that we'll find something that really pleases me that night, I'm not going to be as frustrated. Yeah, and if I know that that it's actually not about what we eat, right. but that I thought of you, yes, then I might be able to beef up my end of it and, and think ahead. Admittedly, a little harder for dogs because we're not normally thinking of you to begin with. Mm -hmm. And that's so unromantic. But we mean well and we're very loyal. Like, we, in the moment, most of us really do really care what you want. So where this, for those, of us, for those of you who are oriented like dogs, how this, the flip side of this example is you're at work, you're focused, you're getting your stuff done, and your, your new lover or partner or whatever calls, and they're a cat person, you're a dog, they call and they're like, hi, and you're like, yep, what's up? <laughs> just called to tell you I was thinking of you. And you're like, why are you calling to tell me that you're thinking of me? I just thought it would be nice. And then, it, I'm busy? Yeah. And they're calling to tell you that they're thinking of you because thoughtfulness in that way mm -hmm. is how they show that they care and that's romantic yeah. to them. But for a dog person, we're like, What's going on? Like, I don't know are you why mad? you're... Are you checking up yeah, on me? Yeah, like, what's up? Yeah. Um, so, 
when you can know that, know which one you identify with. And think of it as a continuum. There are some people that are kind of in the middle. Yeah, I like, I like affirmations. I like being told I did a good job. Yeah. And I love it when someone finds a head. So. Yeah, it's very thoughtful. So those, those are, are my quick tips. Figure out which one you are and then try to figure out which one your partner is or the people that you're dating, which ones they are. The other thing is to, is to check out the book, The Five Love Languages by Gary Chapman. Because um, then it talks about different ways that you show that you care mm-hmm. or like to feel cared for. Mm-hmm. And then if you're in love with a cat person, you find out what their love languages are and do a bunch of those things mm-hmm. before they get into the room. And then if you're a cat person in love with a dog, you basically find their love languages and you tell them that they're a good dog in, in, those, in those languages in the moment. Mm-hmm. Um, so if, they, if they, they love receiving gifts, you give them a gift in the moment and say, that was yeah. really beautiful, I appreciate it. But you buy them a gift that affirms what they're into and what they like. Yeah. Not a gift that you think they would like. Yeah. That doesn't tell them that they're a good dog. Yeah. And yeah. you can ask. Yeah. So that's my, that's my quick stuff on, on romance. Um, your mileage may vary. And know that I'm not thinking about you. <laughs> Thanks, Rick.